Let's take a live look outside right now from the Mission Ridge camera as we check back in with meteorologist Cedric Haynes here in the studio and you have been watching that radar and some pop up showers. That's right, Latrice. You see those clouds beginning to tower up a little bit there. That's letting us know we've got a little more instability in the atmosphere and that's allowing for some of these pop up showers to continue to develop. So as we look at the wide view of the radar, you can see a couple of pop ups near McMinnville. Now we've got a few more over northeast Alabama had one trying to get going over the Blue Ridge, but that one's already falling apart, but most of the activity we're going to watch this afternoon is going to come from the south and west, and you can see as you head down towards Birmingham all the way through northeast Alabama, we're seeing more activity filling in. Same thing over northwest Georgia, and again, notice the motion drifting off towards the north and northwest uh, there, so we've got an area of low pressure down to our south, and that's going to throw back this moisture to give us this chance to downpours as we go throughout the afternoon hours, and sadly, into the first half of the evening hours, which I know is a concern for a lot of folks with it being the first real night of kickoff football Ball, at least across Tennessee. So here's a closer look at some of these downpours showing up over portions of Jackson and DeKalb counties. You can see between Stevenson and Henniger, we've got some heavier downpours. Again, it's scattered in nature right now, but I do expect more of this activity to continue to grow. So yesterday when I showed you this map, this front was not even in this view here across the Tennessee Valley, but notice that front is continuing to work its way to the north. There's an area of low pressure back over Mississippi here, and as this continues to move along this front, it's going to move off towards the north and east like this, and that's going to help pull this front back to the north. You already see it happening now, and that will give us a better chance of those pop up scattered showers and storms, not only for this afternoon into the evening hours, but really extending right on into the upcoming weekend as well. So future cast, here's the latest run showing us what we're talking about here. Again, as we go throughout this afternoon, a couple of hit or miss showers turning into more widely scattered showers and rumbles of thunder as we get towards the four or five o'clock hour. This may be underdoing it a little bit. I expect a little more coverage across the region and then notice heading into the evening hours, 730 or so, we've got some pockets of heavy rainfall, maybe some lightning still showing up out there. So we'll have to watch that closely for any of those uh, kickoff forecasts there. And then notice by tomorrow morning, we should start off dry. There will likely be some patchy fog for areas that have seen some rainfall that will start to thin out and then we'll see more scattered showers and rumbles of thunder as you go into your Saturday afternoon. So it's not going to be a washout, but make sure you keep the rain gear handy and nearby over the weekend because we will have off and on rounds of showers and storms. We could see another burst of heavier rainfall and rumbles of thunder. This could actually occur Saturday night into Sunday. So while you're sleeping, so we'll have to keep an eye on that and continuing into the first half of Sunday. If we see that, then it may make it a little drier Sunday afternoon. But either way, pretty good rain chances, I think, both Saturday and Sunday. But again, not a complete washout. Still, we're looking at likely rain chances for your Saturday and Sunday, and then we'll start to lower those rain chances heading into next week a little bit. But over the next five to seven days, as this front continues to lift to the north, you can see the zone of heavier rainfall stretching from the Carolinas all the way back to Texas, where portions of Northern Texas could see over a foot of rainfall in this setup. Not that much here, but hey, we could pick up an inch or two pretty much widespread across the area. Temperatures, look at this, remaining below average at least for the next seven days. So that stretch of below normal temperatures will continue. And we're also lowering the days till fall officially now down to 34 days officially there. So speaking of fall, let's talk about the boys of fall, right? Friday night football, temperatures in the 70s, chance of those storms early, turning foggy, but mainly dry, I think, by late evening hours. So we just got to get through the first half of the evening. Upper 60s to near 74 tonight with that chance of rain. Mid 80s as we go into your uh, forecast heading into your Saturday with that chance of showers and storms. But your seven day forecast, we're looking at a pretty good chance of scattered showers and storms for the weekend drying out heading into next week. Latrice. Oh, I've just noticed. I always pay attention to you, Cedric, but I just noticed oh. that if the chance has gone up for Saturday and Sunday. Yes, they have gone up, but okay. uh, the good news okay. is it's not a washout. Not a yes, washout. But keep the rain gear with you. Okay, yes. now I know. There you Thank go. you, Cedric. <laughs>